the last speaker before the coffee break is uh, Vitol Pukashi, and um, Vitol is uh, is the is leading our processing uh, research in uh, in the project. So, please, Vitol. Uh, um. Mrs. and Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, I have a pleasure to tell you something about uh, uh, improved processes. Uh, of course, I have to start uh, from mega trends which are on the market, and these are health, convenience, and pleasure. Um, if it concerns health, uh, there is going to be a revolution because the Commission is preparing uh, um, health claims. Uh, uh, procedure. It's not. Uh, uh, it, it will be allowed to use only officially approved claims. At the moment, we have everything. Oh, something very, very natural. Something uh, extremely healthy. Something uh, 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 giving uh, uh, wellness, etc., uh, 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 etc. Et so now it's it's absolutely free. Whatever you say, it's uh, it's accepted. But in the future, it will change. Of course, the health claims will be limited to uh, uh, proved scientific, uh, scientifically uh, already uh, things. And uh, for instance, uh, uh, already approved are claims concerning minerals, vitamins, um, uh, um, uh, some, some other components, but not, for instance, uh, concerning phenolics. Uh, so more evidence of uh, 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 more research is needed to prove that something may be claimed as a uh, as healthy ingredient. Uh, then we have uh, uh, convenience, time factor. I remember a poster from Holland, a uh, lady driving a bicycle and, and drinking something, eating, you know, because it's, it's time pressure, simply. So uh, in such a case, we should look, uh, if we produce new products, we should uh, observe this, this requirement. Then we have pleasure. Of course, uh, everybody is happy to eat something very, very good, as we had, for instance, yesterday supper, which, has, which was um, excellent, you know, if it concerns uh, uh, giving pleasure to us. Um, and of course, uh, if we eat something, we cannot be uh, uh, feel guilty because we, we uh, get uh, uh, too much weight, etc., etc. Et so I will not go into details because my time is short. Um, some of the uh, of the slides at the beginning are the same uh, as I uh, showed yesterday, but I will not not uh, uh, talk about the same things. Um, uh, I would like to uh, uh, say a few more things about fiber. Uh, fiber is something what uh, is uh, 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 undigested, and it contributes uh, contributes to passage of, of uh, uh, food through the intestines. And uh, the fiber is composed of cellulose, hemicellulose, pectins, and lignins. Uh, one of the famous Polish professor at the scientific board, which I participated for uh, uh, several uh, years, said at the meeting. The, the larger the stool, the healthier the man. And, and this is true. And we should eat the fruit and vegetables to have larger stool to, 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 to remove something what is not uh, healthy from our body by, uh, by passage of, uh, with, with, with these stools. And uh, you, you can read the other things, so I'll, I will uh, not, uh, not uh, uh, go into particulars. Uh, now, if it, it, uh, if it uh, uh, concerns retention of nutrients in processed products, depends on many factors. Also, depends on technology. Imagine that uh, uh, in production of uh, juice concentrates, there is a technology approved, not in Europe, but on, in America, for instance, to remove all the phenolics. Why? Because they condense and they... Uh, they, they uh, um, uh, um, react with proteins and other uh, components, and they fall down. So you produce absolutely clear, uh, clear concentrate, and within a time, especially at higher temperature, you have to reprocess once again. But fortunately, this technology is not allowed in, uh, in Europe because uh, we have Directive um, uh, 2001 uh, uh, over uh, 112. Now it's changed. Uh, in, in last August, it was slightly changed, and, uh, but the changes are not really um, important. So in Europe, this technology is not allowed because we would like to have as many phenolics in the product as possible. 
although during clarification we removed, uh, we removed a lot of them to make uh, the, the product more stable anyhow. Uh, so as, as you can see, the stability of nutrient is important uh, and uh, uh, if it concerns uh, uh, juices, uh, one more, uh, one more uh, information uh, that uh, there was a technology proposed by a prominent uh, professor from Germany to remove phenolics by oxidation of everything and then clarification. It was reported at huge uh, 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 congress in, in Hungary uh, years ago, and of course it, it was not accepted. But uh, scientists have uh, brilliant ideas which sometimes uh, uh, do not lead to anything. Uh, now, now some new things. Now some some new things. Uh, uh, you see, this is a new thing which I uh, would like to mention. Uh, plus this this two. Uh, which were uh, um, yesterday presented. Uh, we are studying other processing uh, processes, uh, minimally processed fruit, process of cartilage production, dehydration is solution. These two inside um, uh, were already discussed yesterday and they will not be presented today. Um, enrichment in specific components, maybe a few words about it. Uh, now, uh, I would like to uh, pay attention of our, of our professionals, uh, what we worked on. Peaches, uh, pineapples, apples, um, red desserts, purees, apple, etc., etc. So, you are welcome to look at the ISA fruit page and find what is interesting to you and contact us so uh, we, can, we can be helpful if you are interested in uh, some things. Uh, now, uh, only the new things, and uh, here is information about how pressure processing. Our partners from IRTA in Spain are working on it. They have uh, uh, both uh, uh, laboratory uh, um, instrumentation for uh, pressure processing uh, uh, and, uh, and uh, um, laboratory, sorry, laboratory is in Ireland and both uh, our groups are cooperating very strongly and, pr uh, and industrial is in, in IRTA. So, pressures uh, are used between um, uh, 1,000 uh, atmospheres to 8,000 atmospheres. Huge pressures in megapascals, it's uh, 100 to 800. Temperatures, uh, 0 to 100. Uh, if you are using uh, high temperatures, you, of course, uh, uh, lose some compounds, you, you uh, stimulate reactions, etc., and it's not recommended. In our case, we are using temperatures which are close to room temperature. Time, very short time. So in some cases, the shorter the time, uh, the better, and the lower the temperature, the better, if it's, of course, uh, uh, rational. Uh, food subjected to uh, high pressure treatment at or near room temperature will not undergo significant chemical transformation. Uh, one thing that during high pressure processing we do not generally destroy enzymes. And for instance, fresh fruit subjected to, to, to this type of processing will still degrade in texture because um, uh, pectolytic enzymes are still active and other enzymes as well. You also have here information that uh, it does um, inactivate uh, uh, yeast and vegetative bacteria. Uh, and, veg uh, and vegetative uh, bacteria, but not of the spores. So, in fact, uh, this high pressure processing may be very good for products which pH is below 4.5. It means that this is a barrier for development of spores um, uh, of, um, of um, uh, bacteria, Clostridium botulinum, the most dangerous for humans. Uh, and for fruits, it's also uh, this technology may be used it's being used for juices commercially already. Uh, also, France ha had this kind of equipment, um, uh, Portugal, uh, USA, uh, Japan, etc. So, for juices, the technology has been uh, used uh, uh, since several years already, but not uh, for um, uh, minimally processed fruit, which we, we are working on. 